Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going with Q2 of the Weekly Contest 300, Spiral Matrix 4. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. Uh, this one, I kind of spiraled a little bit, if you will. Um, the way that I do it is just by simulation. But I, I made a silly mistake, which I'll point out in a second. And that kind of cost me a, a bit, to be honest. The, the penalty is, is you know, for, for, uh, for contests where a lot of people on top is way close together. That was way painful. But in any case, yeah, I just do a simulation. This is my code. Basically, I go, okay. So the last, I keep on going right until I, I can't anymore and then go down until I can't anymore and then go left until I can't anymore and then go up and then so forth all the way um, going clockwise, right? Um, and that's basically the idea and remind, remind, reminder that to fill the extra with negative one. So this is my code. I set up the direction. This is right down left up and you know i set it with zero i go uh yeah and and the link this thing is kind of just weird to be honest if you ask me because all you it does is just change the while loop i don't like i don't know if there's anything weird that's like versus an extra value but, uh or like an uh, uh a list of an array would have been okay. Uh, list of array. A list of integers would have had the same effect, and that's what I have here. Um. So the the thing that I I made a mistake about, and which is why I kind of hacked this together a little bit, is that when when you fill up the the matrix completely, this while loop, this while loop goes on infinitely. So that was a very silly mistake because now at the last place I just keep on go spinning, and that time limit exceeded. But yeah, but otherwise. That's pretty much it. Simulation and just being careful. Um, you could probably have done things. I actually didn't look at the constraints. Yeah, if they start at, if all the values are from zero to one thousand, I could have actually set up to start at negative one, and then you know we don't even have that. But but I did it this way, and this is more explicit to me. So whatever you like. Like I said, you just keep on spinning to the next direction until we can't anymore, um, and that is it. Um, yeah. I wonder if uh, hmm. I wonder if you only do this once. Maybe this is never a while loop. Maybe this is only an if statement. Hmm. I wonder if that's true. Let, let, let me take a. I, I was just thinking it off my head, and I'm always like thinking about stuff. Right? Would this work? Hmm. I guess maybe maybe it does. Maybe I didn't need it after. All. Um, hmm. Yeah. Well. In any case, um, yeah, so maybe I didn't need the while loop, but, but I, I think for similar problems, the while loop has some benefits, but but this one, it got me a TLE, so sometimes you just have to think about it, and this time I definitely rushed it a little bit. But yeah. Um, oh yeah, so what's the complexity of this? Well, we visit each cell once, right? So that means that this, this loop will execute at most all of R times C times, and of course all of n being the, the number of input so yeah so this is going to be linear time linear space just because that's also the size of the output as well and yeah and we look at each cell at most once so yeah um cool that's pretty much all i have for this one let me know what you think and you could watch me solve a live during the contest now so it's strong quickly okay yeah, that was i misread that one altogether not gonna lie What's M and what's R?
that's not good. Oh, there it is. That's also not good. Oh, the other, the numbers have to be negative one. Stop. This is going infinite loop. Uh. Uh. What a silly mistake. What a silly mistake. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think. I'll see you later. Stay good, stay healthy, and to good mental health. Bye bye.